So, Chennai Lumi, Sai University campus lo manam now. We are with the Vice Chancellor of Sai University, Ajit Abraham sir with us. So, Sar Nadigi, you have university pathyakatal inti. And your faculty credentials allow online. Placement assistance allow is tharu. And overall, quality based education to part two, you know, value based education system ni Sai University allow promote chest on the net 20. Before talking about Sai University, so we have to talk about Ajit Abraham sir, who is the Vice Chancellor of this university. Sir, LCBS Chief Editor work chesaru and also the Chair of ITB Systems work chesaru and matter. So stand for 2% of the scientists publish chesaru and matter every now and then. So 2% scientists, uh, allied scientists club low, researchers club low, sir, peer and it went to the prati year was to know and matter in one year or the other. And also, sir, your research and it went to the MIT scientists Oxford scientists, that the top university researchers to collaborate with his works chala on that matter. He is a phenomenal man and is an allied educationist and also it is our privilege to interact with Abhijit Abraham sir today with Sakshi Education exclusive to you. Sir, Namaste sir. Thank you. Welcome to Sai University. Thank you so much sir. So, we come across different uh, vice chancellors, different academicians and uh, you are one of the uh, very few academicians that uh, who specifically talk about value-based education along with quality education. So, what SAI University all about and what are the you know, uniqueness of, what is the uniqueness of SAI University, sir? Thank you. So, SAI University was founded in 2018 as a state private university. And 2021, we started admitting students under three different schools. So right from the beginning, we had a focus on quality. So our aspiration is to be a global university with a focus on transformative liberal education, with a focus on research, academic excellence, and making an impact in the society. Our country, we need to educate a huge youth population. And just by traditional degrees might not help our country as well as the requirement from the industry and the community. There is a need for our youngsters to be educated in a multi-disciplinary environment so that they can see opportunity in every problem which they face in life. 